Hey everyone, welcome to Cara's house today. We've got a little unboxing of these uh, Yolio um, box skewers. Now you won't believe this, but Jasmine emailed me four days ago to let me know that they've been posted. Four days from China. That's mental. So let's use this very extra blunt knife to open this pack. So, and these are a set of axles that they supply with the R6 disc frame, uh, which I, hmm, I didn't have a ratchet one last time, but it's okay. Um, and the reason I've got them is because, um, I, I wasn't going to use them. I put them down and then my boys decided that they'd like to uh, have a look at them, which means I had to order some new ones. Anyway, so let's break open this pack. So these are the two uh, Yolio ones. This one is a fixed um, head, although you can pull it out, swizzle that round and then turn it some more. Yeah, and um, they've given me a nut again, which is very kind of them. Just check the thread pitch on both of these. Okay, so the that's a bit it's a bit interesting, but the thread pitch is one point five on both of these. Okay, so um, let's get measuring. So the rear one. From the stop to the end of the thread is, well, the end of the bowl is one one sixty. The last thread is on the one sixty eight, but the bolt doesn't end until one sixty nine and a little bit, so almost one seventy. The front. Okay, it's on a ratchet, so let's close it down. Closed, it is 125. Open, it's 120. If I can spin that round, 120. Six and a bit. So that is perfectly long enough to go through the front because having measured it, um, I'm going to need a 125 front axle. Okay. And um, I think the numbers on here are 12 mil diameter, 111 length of axle without the thread, uh, M12, yeah, which is the uh, thread size and pitch 1.5. So it's 12 mil diameter, pitch 1.5, 14, don't know what that is, 14.0, le. perhaps the whole length of it is 140, I'm not sure. Um, so this is a one, the rear one is a 1.5 thread, it should be about 20, let's start at 10. So the thread length is about 18 on that one. Um, these are definitely longer than the DT Swiss ones. In fact, um, I have them here. So let's clean these out of the way. DT Swiss uh, levers with, when I can pop it off. Oh, that one's fallen on the floor. Removable heads. Now, I actually want bolts without the heads um, that's why I got these removable ones. But as standard, I'll just pick that one up. They're not long enough. So I've I've written an email to Wheel Builders um, America, which is where I bought these skewers and I bought my hubs from. Um, at the at the time, we didn't have an agent over here for DT Swiss. We do now, so I might give them a ring later. Um, so the rear one on DT Swiss is. From the stop to the end of the 
about is 160, 160, one, two, 163. The Yolio one, as we measured, was 170, almost 170. That's about a 168, 169. So we're gaining five mil probably. Five mil is standard. Um, I've measured it, and because this bolt goes on about half a turn, I'm going to need I'm going to need a total length of about one seventy four, and you can buy them one seventy four through axles. Without the head, um, I can get some from starbike.com. It's a place I've seen on the internet. I'm not sponsored by them, just where I found them. But they come with a 1.75 pitch thread, and I can't find a 1.75 pitch bolt. So although I can get the axle in a 174, I can't get the bolt. I don't know where I'm going to get him. If anyone knows where I can get a 1.75 pitch bolt, uh, M12 titanium or alloy bolt for a mountain bike or a road bike. Just one of these little bolt that I can screw on the end. Then let me know in the comments. That would be brilliant. Okay, moving on to the front axles. Uh, Yolio supplied and DT Swiss. I think you can see the difference in length already. About 121 for the DT Swiss and 124, nearly 125 for the Yodeo. I'm going to need a 125 bolt. Um, I can get one again from Starbike without a head. So I just do it up with an Allen key because I don't want these handles sticking out on my aero road bike. It just seems to defeat the purpose. Um, I can get a 125mm bolt, it comes with a 1.5 pitch M12 thread, so that the front one I can get perfect, the rear one I can only get the bolt, sorry, I can only get the through axle, not the bolt, so if anyone knows where I can get one of those bolts with a 1.75 pitch thread, um, that would be great, or a 168mm through axle with a 1.5 pitch, no head. Um, that would be awesome. I don't really want this big handle sticking out, as I said. So that's an update. Um, we'll just put them like that. There you can see the difference in, in length. Let me undo this. And here you can see the difference in length. Oh, I'm a bit short of the camera there, so we'll push them up. So we've got DT Swiss on the top and the Yolio supplied ones on the bottom. That is why I was having a problem with the length um, of the through axle. Um, hopefully the ones I can get will be longer still or about the same. I, forgot, I just keep measuring this, 170. Yeah, a little bit longer than this one uh, without the head and that would be awesome. So, um, just a quick update on axles. And uh, so I can now stick them in and I can go for a ride on it, even though it will look a bit hideous with those handles. Um, that's about it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe. Leave some comments down below for me. I'll get back to you. Take care, everyone. Bye. Oh, no, I almost forgot to weigh everything. So... We've got Yolio rear through axle, 79 grams. DT Swiss rear axle, 65 grams. Yolio front, 76 grams. Yolio front, 57 grams, but we can take the heads 
off of the DT Swiss one. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so a DT Swiss head weighs 28 grams. So rear axle without a head, oops, weighs 38 grams. And the front axle without a head weighs 30 grams. So that's why I want one without heads. And uh, that's pretty much it. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Take care. See you later. Like, subscribe, don't forget. Bye.